Well, this is going to be a very serious video today. Um, in my recovery, I had to get a colonoscopy. Um, this is my fifth one in my lifetime. I had one after my appendix surgery, but um, it's been three years now and digestion is stopping here. My belly is swelling out three times the size and um, the body isn't functioning without items like fleet, uh, water, water uh, and, and I don't know if you're familiar with these. These are awesome after surgery. It's a little cone you just put in. It works in a couple seconds. Um, and it, it's just a lubricant. So when you go to the doctor um, to get your colonoscopy, post-surgery you want to make sure there's no cancer in there. There's no polyps. There's no pukas, which are holes. Well, actually indentations. Um, I wanted to see if the surgery had um, a kink in the colon um, because um, that's, that's what it had looked like. And also, um, we wanted to, we did an ultrasound on everything first to see if there was scar tissue pressing on the colon. So we did that first. Um, my results came back good, so I'm excited. Uh, no Crohn's, no colitis, no pukas, no polyps, no cancer. Uh, they did take um, sections of it to test it, so pathology will be back soon. So first of all, you're going to go to the doctor and you're going to get the sheet as of what to do. Two days prior, start eating light, super light. The day prior, there's no dairy. Read your instructions. Clear fluids all day. Then you're going to start um, your, you're going to stop at the pharmacy and you're going to get your bottle. If they don't attach the lemonade packet, ask for it. It's supposed to be taped on here. So you're going to put in your lemonade packet, and I bought good water. Buy good water that tastes good, not from the tap. It tastes like chlorine, and you want the best water. Just shake that up, and at first you're going to refrigerate it. After a while, your body doesn't want it refrigerated. Um, and the directions on the bottle say take a cup every 10 minutes. And it says reserve um, uh, almost the full bottle here for um, three hours before your surgery. It's a procedure. But they are gonna remove pallets if they're there. So you can do a slight surgery. So you're gonna pour what you're gonna use uh, early in the morning and put it in the fridge. Um, so you're gonna start with a cup, just down it um, every uh, 10 minutes. And then all of a sudden you're going to find out that your stomach is swollen three times the size because it's not processing. So I had to Google, what the heck? And um, <clears throat> the doctor said that you need to stop and take a rest. Uh, do a portion in the afternoon. Let it work its way down because you're not even urinating yet. And then go back to it in the evening. So um, you definitely want to have a fan put on a fan on you, you want to have your computer, your phone. As this starts working, you're not going to leave this area. So <clears throat> the sheet says start at 3 p.m. So I asked if I could start earlier because that's always been my problem. I get no sleep at night because you're up till 3.30 in the morning with this. So I like to start at three, three hours before this says. Uh, a lot of people work so they can't. So that's why it's on here later. Um, if you've ate light the two nights before, um, you know, just like boiled egg and uh, maybe some rice, uh, then you're, you're going to pass things quickly. What I started off with is I first started off with an insert. You want to get things unclogged at the bottom. Um, and then I was drinking my solution, drinking my solution, drinking my solution. And then um, when my belly got so full I couldn't take any more. Um, I did the fleet and that that got rid of all the bottom stuff so it could just have the liquid come out. Um, I refilled this three times with water because when you squeeze it you don't get all of it. You want to have on hand two rolls of toilet paper. I use 
only the best toilet paper because women get infections. So the Charmin Ultra Strong, oh, I still can't bend, Ugh. or the Charmin Ultra Soft. Make sure you have two large ones. Make sure you have a bag to put all your toilet paper in. If you put this much toilet paper in the commode, you're going to back it up. It's not going to flush anymore. And then after, after you start breaking through, I fill this with dishwashing liquid so and water. So I just squirt around the toilet as I'm going. Uh, keep the toilet clean so you don't have any odor and it doesn't dry. Um, sanitizer soap. Um, after you are, uh, after it's coming out as a liquid, which takes a very, very long time to start, you're going to have to fill, have a lot of warm water nearby so you can be washing yourself down each time and dark color washcloths to dry. You don't need a towel, you'll ruin it. If you have a va va vagina ring for um, estrogen like I wear, you can take these in and out whenever you want. Take this out because this is splashing. You don't want to get an infection. So take this out till you get back from surgery. If you forget, the surgeon says that you can leave this in. But the tube is this size, and it's going all the way up almost to your neck. Um, well, I guess to here. Uh, you don't want this pushing on you. So uh, don't put on polish because they need to see your nails. So you don't want them having to take that off. As, as your liquid is coming out, um, put some Vaseline on it because it's going to get sore. Don't use wipes. Don't use any cooling wipes. Um, don't use wipes. It's just going to irritate it. Uh, cleanse yourself with water and then pat it dry. Um, and you will go through two full rolls of toilet paper. So have good toilet paper. So have your computer. I have Sudikal. I have notes. Uh, what time I started, which time I drank each cup so I could see. And um, I'll type in how mine worked. Mine took uh, 10 hours to get the liquid. So that was a problem. And then um, you want to have a towel by, your, by you. And you also want to have a get rid of your rugs. I also have stitches. I had um, skin cancer in two places, so I have stitches right now, so trying to bend is horrible. So get rid of your rugs and put down a big towel. Do not sit here all day. When you feel the urge to go, sit here and do some things. Um, once it starts, it's going to flood, you're going to rinse, dry, and you're going to get out of the bathroom. Um, you want to walk around, walk around. If you try to lay down, um, it's just going to gurgle. So when it floods, get yourself washed. Um, walk around, walk around, walk around. As soon as, you, as soon as it starts flooding, as soon as you take a sip of that liquid, take one big gulp, that's going to instantly gush out. At first, it's not. Your, at first, your stomach's going to swell. But once, once it starts flooding, um, as soon as you gulp, that much is going to flood out. Um, but take rest as needed and then you um, get to chase it with water thank goodness because you need that break all of a sudden at the end of the evening you still have water in this jug and you hate the flavor um, I didn't get this much finished but he said I was perfectly clear he got to go all the way up and I had perfect results but you get sick of this so this is what I had to do I um, Put my chilled cup in here. Oh, my alarm, sorry. I have an alarm for medications. Um, I, I, put, I put a cup of this in here and put it in the fridge. This one I fill with good water. <sighs> so I can only, at this point, I can only down swigs. Down swigs, down this. <sighs> Swish your mouth. <sighs> Three times. Get the taste out of your mouth. And then 10 minutes later, you know, you're going to gush. Then you're going to do a swig. I'm only doing swigs at this time. I'm not doing cups. Hurry up and rinse your mouth as fast as you can. If you can get this flavor out of your mouth, you can handle the rest of it. Then um, set your alarm clock. I had to set mine for 3.30 in the morning because you have to do another portion in the morning. 
And um, at that point, you want to swig, swish, rinse, swish, rinse. Your body wants to throw up. It doesn't want to taste this anymore. So keeping your mouth clear. I found brushing my teeth after, the mint was too strong at that point. Uh, so just keep rinsing, rinsing, get it all out of your mouth. And then um, you'll get through it. That's the only thing you're gonna. That's the only thing you're gonna be able to get through. Um, also, you're going to um, you're going to go in, and they're not. They're only gonna let you have your um, eyeglasses with you. So when you go in, they're gonna give you beautiful pictures. You're only gonna be in there 17 minutes with the camera. My camera was 12 minutes. He was able to get all the way up, and my pain is right here. All my pain is here and uh, the swelling. Um, so when you go home, it's gonna say rest as much as possible when you return home. Do that. Have someone drive you, that's a must. Don't drink any alcohol during any of this or days before or you're gonna be nauseous. No alcohol for a couple days after. Start your regular diet by using water first. Um, don't make any important decisions. You're kind of loopy and you don't notice. All right, that's it. I took um, two days to rest and I needed it and today is day three. So um, I only lost, doing the colonoscopy cleansing, I only lost, I think I lost three pounds. So my stomach is pretty flat. Um, pretty flat because it's been way sticking out. I think I measured it like 35 inches. So my stomach, um, did a good cleansing uh, that helped that stomach pain to go down. And then because I'm not digesting food, um, I'm on a gluten-free, dairy-free, I've had to change my diet so my body can um, handle uh, foods post-surgery and I have to take enzymes, probiotics, a very expensive enzyme. Um, I do take certain vitamins uh, I do my protein drinks with fruit and vegetable. Um, I've limited what I can't digest. Um, and then I still am using these, but I have a doctor appointment with the surgeon who did the, who did the colonoscopy, and he's gonna go over things, how I'm gonna have to change my life. So I'm excited to do that because nothing inside is bad. And um, I hope this video helped you take breaks um, at the end, if you take just sips of water, it's going to gush out. So you can, if you're sick of the liquid at the end, you can take gushes of, um, gulps of water uh, to get it to gush out. And you, you want to uh, get it to a point where it's pretty clear. Uh, not, it won't be all the way clear, but pretty clear with, with no feces particles in it. And, and you won't get all of this in. You can try to. Um, but I think if you start earlier and you ate two light meals the day before, you'll be able to cleanse, cleanse well. If you ate too much when you start the, the, the solution, you're going to be very nauseous. You are not going to be comfortable. You're going to have a lot of waste. This liquid is trying to push this waste down and you're going to be so uncomfortable. So um, that's why I said get the fleet done, do an insert first. Uh, get those particles out of there so the gushing can just come out or you're going to feel all this gurgling. Um, have an ice pack on your head. Don't have anybody at home. Keep the bathroom free for you. Don't lay down. Just walk around. Sitting down didn't help. Only come in here when it's gushing. Um, at the beginning you're going to be here because you're trying. Um, but when, after it's gushing, get off the toilet. Don't sit here. Good luck. It was hard. It was exhausting. I got two hours sleep. Um, it was very hard. The IV, if, if the lady doesn't have the numbing shot, the doctor said I could ask for a different nurse. Make sure they do the numbing shot before they put the IV in. Um, and then when they take it out, you don't feel it. When you go home, you don't feel it. I never let anybody do an IV without the numbing gel. They have a numbing gel or shot, either one. All right, good luck with yours. I got a good result. I thought I was going to have to go to colon surgery. So I got really good news. That's, that's, that's not what I get usually. Aloha. It's Father's Day tomorrow. So if a guy's going through this, I hope my video helped. 
because I had to Google videos. I, I was frustrated. <laughs> I was so frustrated. Bye.